Well, good morning. It's so good to be back with you guys again. This is week nine. We've had a couple of weeks out here in the boondocks, and I hope you've really been enjoying that. It's so nice for Sotmonder and I to be able to get outside and share some of where we like to do yoga. Remember, as householders, we're able to carry this wonderful technology anywhere we go. So I encourage you, during this nice weather, find a place where you can get outside and practice some of this, and so you can enjoy it too. Like I said, this is week nine. Thank you, Ogden Eccles Center, for making this possible for us to keep our class going throughout the summer. And we hope all of you are enjoying this too, especially out here in the wonderful outdoors. Well, this week, we're going to be continuing what Sotmonder started last week. You recall he was talking about addictions and how to help yourself out with that. And there's, this week we're going to be working on detoxification, a, a Kriya and some meditations to help you with that. Now, detox often, just like with addictions, gets thought of as only being something that happens like with drugs and alcohol or those tough situations. But actually, detoxification happens constantly throughout our lives. Because of what we eat, because of what we inhale, because of the social situations we're in being so toxic, your body is constantly having to go through a detoxification process. If, if we don't do this, we get so filled with toxicity that it can make us ill, it can make us more susceptible to horrible things like COVID-19, but it can also affect the way we think, which in turn can put us into riskier situations. So this week we're gonna be working on how we detoxify ourselves and make ourselves cleaner and more able to have that healthy, happy, holy life that Yogi Bhajan taught us about. So this Kriya is gonna start out as always with our tune in. So let's bring our hands to the center of our chest and, and get ready for our tune in. It is the mantra, Om Namo Guru Dev Namo. That means I bow to the creative force of the universe and I bow to that creative force that's manifested inside me as a teacher. I've got a teacher that lives within me. It's so important to tune into that and remember that as we're doing this yoga. So, hands to the center of your chest, deep breath in, close your eyes, eyes right here. Deep breath in. Om Namo Guru Te Namo Om Namo Relax your hands into your lap and take a couple of minutes to find that center. That spot right at the middle of your being that only you can go to and spend a minute there. Go ahead and turn off your recording and spend a minute just breathing and centering yourself and I'll be here when you get back. Well, welcome back. I hope you're feeling settled in and ready and we'll start into the Kriya for detoxification. Like I said, this is, an, this is a part of our lives every minute of every day. It's a natural part of our cycle. So we're gonna start out in one of our most comfortable natural positions where you spend a lot of the time during your life and that's laying flat on your back. And we're gonna do this with our heels touching together. So just lay back and as you breathe, it's simply laying your feet out to the sides, opposing away from each other and then bringing them back straight up. Your hands will just be laying down to your sides as you breathe long and deep. But your feet on inhale will go out, exhale back up. Inhale, just your feet. And so relax and, and just let your feet go out. And I'm gonna have you do that for four minutes. Just 
your eyes closed, focus right on that third eye point as you lay back, your hands are by your sides and you're just letting your feet relax out to the sides and then back up. Give that a shot and I'll be back here. Four minutes. All right, outstanding. I know that one was easy and it felt really good. So let's go ahead on to that next one. You just gave it four minutes. Now on this one, you're going to keep your, you're going to, on this next asana, on this next posture, you're going to stay on your back, but you're going to bring your hands behind your head, and this one's going to be a little bit tougher, so I'm going to ask you to do your best with it, but remember with these harder ones, you may find you have to cut the time down when you're first trying it. Remember with Kundalini Yoga, that's okay to do that, but you need to cut the time down equally for each posture if you need to cut this one. So it's like a cookie recipe. If you change any one of the ingredients, you gotta change them all by the same amount. Not too tough to remember, but this is a, a more challenging asana. It's only four minutes, but it will be a little bit harder for you. So, like I said, we're gonna lay down onto our back, our hands behind our head. We're gonna bring our feet up to about a couple of feet up, and then we're just gonna scissor them. Just like this, with your head down, and just relaxed, but we're gonna scissor. And we're gonna do that for four minutes. Give it your best. I know you can do it. I'll see you when you get back. Well, welcome back. Hopefully you were able to do the whole four minutes. If not, remember that thing about reducing the time. It goes equally throughout. Now this next one, we're just gonna simply roll over onto our tummy and that, but a special part of this that you need to pay attention to is how we're gonna do our breathing. Because you're gonna roll over onto your tummy and you're gonna open your mouth and stick your tongue out like this. And then as we are doing the asana from your tummy, you're gonna push up into cobra as you um, exhale out of your mouth. And then as you lower yourself back down, you're gonna inhale once again through your mouth. Most often we breathe through our nose with Kundalini Yoga, right? But with this asana, we're going to be through our mouth. So it's like this. You're going to be down in Cobra. As you push up. So with each time you raise up, in Cobra, and remember don't push up so high that you lift your hips off the ground. Try to keep your hips down and only straighten your arms to where you raise your upper part of your body. I don't want you to do any injury to your lower back. So give that a shot. You're gonna do this for six and a half minutes. So give it your best, and if you have to reduce it, remember the rules on that. So keep your breath and the movement strong and give it a try. Once again, remember it's exhale through your mouth as you're going up, inhale through your mouth as you go back down. Give it a shot and I'll be here when you get back. All right, I'll bet that one went well for you and I know you feel energized from that. It is so good for that. This next one, again, is gonna be just a little bit of a challenge, but I know you can do it. Um, it's real similar to one that Satmander showed you last week in that we bring our knees up to our chest but then we're going to have our arms up like this parallel and then as we straighten our legs we bring our arms down you can bring them all the way to the floor but it's so gentle that you don't even make any noise as your feet and your arms come down to the floor so once again it starts out here your knees are up your hands are here you go down back up, down, back up, down, back up. And you continue in exactly that movement for three minutes. It's a very controlled movement. Remember, you're going slow enough that you don't just slam your heels onto the floor. It's very controlled as you do this, but it's vigorous. Three minutes, give it a shot. I know you can do it. Okay guys, welcome back. I know that one was a little bit hard and you may be breathing a little bit hard still, but this one is gonna make it real easy. Excuse me just a second. Like I say, uh, householders yoga outside, we have some noise sometimes. That was an aircraft, so give me just a second. 
Okay, I think you can hear me again. This next one is just out of easy pose. Sit cross-legged, your hands on your knees, you're in your lap. What's important is we're going to go in just a counterclockwise direction. So I'm grinding my torso in just a counterclockwise direction. Okay, so that's to the left. And you're going to do that for three minutes. Now the key with this one is, this one isn't real meditative. We're moving some energy here. So I want you to go as fast as you can in that spin for the next three minutes. Give it a shot, guys. I'll be here when you get back. Okay, welcome back. Now, that one got you energized, and I may be coming up just a little bit high. Forgive me if so, but this last one is done with uh, a squat in it called Crow Pose. And the way we're gonna do we're gonna start standing up. You're just gonna bend over, grab your ankles, have your feet at about shoulder width because you're going to come down, still holding your ankles, and then come back up. Down and come back up. Down into a squat and come back up. It's as simple as that for only two minutes. Your legs will feel it, but give it a shot. Give me two minutes of that. Holding on to your ankles, squat into crow pose as deep as you can go and then come back up. I'll see you back in just a couple of minutes. Oh, it's going. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back. We had, we had a little technical uh, <laughs> issue there, but we're back in right before this last asana. Um, you just finished up doing your crow pose. I know that was, that was a tough one. You're a little winded, but this next one, we're just gonna be doing easy pose, but we are gonna be doing a mantra, so you may wanna make sure you're, you've got your breath back again for just a second. This mantra we're going to use is very rhythmic and so it's easy to remember. It's, it it uh, goes Satnam 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 Wahe Guru Satnam 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 Wahe Guru Satnam 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 Wahe Guru. Now that repetition will be done on a single breath and take about seven or eight minutes, so you're not, or seven or eight seconds. So you're not really hurrying with this mantra, but I just want you to sit in easy pose, your spine straight, and allow the shabbat, allow the sound current to carry you as you feel that rhythm, that satnam, 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 wahe guru and feel that rhythm, feel it flow through you. You're gonna do this for 11 minutes that you're gonna just continue that. If you need to, to count it out, count it out with a finger, sitting here on your lap. So it'd be Satnam, 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 Wahe Guru. So you get all of those counts. You'll use all eight fingers. Satnam, 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 Wahe Guru. It's that eight count so important and so powerful as you let that rhythm wash through you. Give that a shot for 11 minutes. Really try to do the 11 minutes. I, I really think you're gonna love the feeling it gives you. And I'll be here to finish up when you get back. All right, guys, I, that was a wonderful Kriya. I'm sure that you got, that you're feeling really good right now. To finish up, I'd like you to stretch your arms way up over your head, the palms flat together, and stretch, 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 as high as you can stretch, really feel it, and relax, exhale, relax your arms down, and let's do it again, inhale, and stretch, 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 hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, and down, and one more time, inhale, and stretch it up really high, palms together, and relax it down such a wonderful session and I know it's going to help you detoxify. Let's finish up, bring your hands to the center of your chest. Let's just relax for a moment. Find your center. Go into that center, peaceful. Relax your hands. 
and I'll be back in just a few minutes and we'll do our meditation. Go ahead and turn off the recording and just sit there in your center for a second. I'll be back. Well, good morning again. Welcome back to session nine. You just finished up the Kriya for detoxification. And now we're going to go into an important follow-on meditation. As we always do in Kundalini Yoga, we always build that energy with our Kriya and then really manifest change when we lock in that meditation at the end. And it, that's where the magic really happens. So this week, we're going to work on the heart center because as we detoxify, it kind of leaves us in a empty, very pure state that if we don't refill it with intention that we want there, like our heart filled with the energy of the heart chakra, we tend to just fill back up with the toxicity that's around it. The social toxicity, the, the food toxicity, the air we breathe that we all have to deal with. But if we get that heart center fully charged, it helps protect us throughout. So with this intentional meditation, we will fill up all that space that we just detoxified. So I'm going to give you three different exercises that you can try to do this. When you're first giving it a shot, please try all three of them because you may find one that just really resonates with you particularly well. So we're going to start out this one. Uh, the very first meditation is just simply a hand position and a concentration on the breath. So it starts out with making your right hand into a fist with your thumb sticking out and we're going to press that thumb right into your right into your navel point. Now the yogic navel point is just a little bit different than your belly button and you can find it by putting your index finger into your belly button, lay your fingers down there and just past your little finger is where your yogic navel point is, where that the center of your navel energy. So that's where I'm going to put my thumb is right there. I'm going to put my thumb there. I'm going to have a fist and then I'm going to grab that fist with the other hand. I'm going to pull it in. So I'm really pressing that thumb into that navel point right there. That four fingers below your tummy button. Press in real hard and I want you to feel for your pulse there. There's actually a pulse point there. And I want you to, as you're breathing, concentrate on the connection of your breath and that pulse point as you just breathe and press. And that's all there is to this. Long, slow, deep breathing, pressing in, but feel the connection between your breath and the pulse point. Give that a try. You may have to search around a little bit to find that pulse point, but you will. Give it a try. You're gonna do this for 11 minutes, guys. So this is a nice long period of concentration. If you find your mind is drifting at all, as with all meditations, be gentle with yourself. Bring yourself back to that point of thinking about the breath, as we've been taught from the very beginning. Put your concentration on the breath and the linkage of that breath to that navel pulse. Give that a try and I'll see you in 11 minutes. All right, welcome back. That one was very powerful and hopefully got you zoned on, zoned in to that connection that there is between the breath and the pulse. Now this next one is a beautiful mudra and place that you can relax into. The mudra is called Lotus Mudra and it's done with the hands forming a flower. The little finger and the base of the thumbs come together into a flower. It's right here in front of the third. Elbows are kind of tucked. And we go into a long, deep breathing where we just rest here. Now, I want you to have the hands close enough that as you breathe out through your nose, you can actually feel your breath going across the lotus, the lotus mudra. So you're right here, 
You're long, slow, deep breathing. You're concentrating right at your third eye point and feel the connection between the mudra and your breath. Concentrate on that feeling. This is going to be for 11 minutes once again that you just feel your breath. Enjoy that and I'll see you back here in 11 minutes. Well, welcome back. The last of these three meditations to help fill the heart center is going to use a technology similar to the one that Satmander demonstrated last week where we had that pressure point on the sides of our temples. Do you remember how powerful that was? Well, we've got another one that is going to really impact your heart center. And once again, you're going to be searching for a nerve ending with those thumbs but this time it's right here under your armpits. And you're gonna find a spot in there. Oh yeah, there's a spot that your thumbs will hit in that space that you'll feel it. And then you just fold your arms down over it. You'll feel that nerve ending right there. It's a sensitive spot. And I want you to press right on that. And then we're gonna do a special kind of breathing using the mantra, so hung, which is I'm, in synchronicity with the infinite, creative synchronicity, so hung. You're gonna be pressing that, that tender spot, really, right in there, making sure you've got your thumbs pressing that acupressure point. And you're gonna whistle on the inhale, and you're gonna mentally repeat so on the inhale. And then after you whistle in and you hear so, then you're gonna just exhale through your mouth, hung. So, hung. You don't have to whistle on the exhale. You're whistling in on the inhale and just exhaling through your mouth. My mouth's so dry I can't whistle right now, I'm sorry, but. <laughs> just whistle in on the inhale with the mantra mentally so. Exhale through your mouth with the mantra just mentally repeated hung. And you're going to repeat that again for 11 minutes, keeping your thumbs pressed on onto that pressure point. This is really going to activate the energy into that heart center. Remember, that mantra that you're repeating, that so hung, I am that infinite. I have connected, I am synchronous with that infinite energy. And that's going to fill up that space that you emptied out through the detoxification reel. Give that a try, guys. Try, give all three of them, if you can, a shot. And then see if one of those really particularly resonates for you. It's so powerful to pick one of those and do it on a really regular basis. As one of my teachers long ago told me, don't just take my word for it. Give it a shot and then you'll see for yourself and keep what really does work for you. You've got three to choose there from there. I hope one of them is really special to you. Well guys, this week has been a great one. We've worked on getting ourselves detoxified. We've worked on refilling that space, getting our center so that we lead with our heart. That's so important right now with what's going on in the world, the danger we're in from viruses, but at the same time, having to connect with the world around us in a loving manner, so critically important. And I know you can do it if you'll just practice. Let's get ourselves tuned in, or get ourselves closed out with the, with the folk song that we always use in Kundalini Yoga. May the long time sun shine upon you, all love surround you, and the pure light within you guide your way on. Join me. Deep breath in. Oh, may the long time sun shine upon you, all love surround you, and the pure light within you guide your way on. Oh, may the long time sun shine upon you, all love surround you, and the pure light within you guide your way on, guide your way on. Sigh. 
See you next week, guys. Have a great week. Much love.